you come to church. Mm. Some of these reasons are better than others. But I want to suggest to you this morning that if those are the only reasons you can, you fail to grasp the absolute vital biblical command. But there is any person that has a desire to follow these biblical commands will have a greater joy, a closer fellowship, yeah. a greater spiritual growth, yeah. and they will bring more glory to God. Yeah. What is this vital biblical command? All right. Well, the writer of Hebrew in the text here wants us to know that when we come to worship, mm. we come to get to know God for ourselves. That's right. That's right. Is anybody going to pray with me? Right. Yeah, we, we come to really know Him. I, I'm preaching to somebody. Yeah, when we come to worship, we come to fellowship with him yes and to commune with him yes and to have his presence and his power yes. operating in our daily life All right, man. All right. coming to worship is like going to the gas station that's right ain't a lot of praying right there right. I don't care how much you try you can't run your car forever on one take of no. In and now and then, you're going to have to stop by what we call the Weekly of the Village Station. And so you come in church because you need to be filled. Because during the week, you get out. And I don't know about you, but yeah. I, I can't miss two weeks because I don't want to read on the road. In fact, I like my life. Yeah. So I got to stop by the fitting station in yeah, the Sunday morning to get my tank refilled. Oh, I wish I had a plan, church here. Listen, listen. When we have God present operating in our lives, once we stop our fish station, uh, we can conquer anything. All right, all right. Oh, and my friends, you can get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can conquer anything. We can overcome any trial. We can resist any temptation. And we can withstand any attack by the evil one. When we worship him, he becomes a living reality in our lives. Even if you told somebody, you ain't going to speak his name no more. Because you meet my sensation, you can't keep it up to yourself. You will be like Jeremiah and say, it's like fire. Shut in my bones. And I just can't hold my peace. But the question, the question that we need to ponder for a little while uh, is how can we lay hold of such a living faith that makes us shout when we ain't got nothing to shout about? Make us praise God when we don't have a dime in our pocket. Uh, how can we lay hold to this kind of faith that makes us go on and look like everything around us says that? We all just give up, quit, and die. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. the writer of our text uses a conjunction. Yeah. It's an adverb in one sense, but in this sense, it's a conjunction. All right. Mm -mm -mm. He uses this word sense. Not S E N S E, but S I N C E. Yes. Sense. All right, now listen, listen. The word sense 
means the time between a particular past time and the present time. All right. You, you can get what I just see. <laughs> Since means the time between a particular past time and the present time. Uh, that is to say, since something in the past took place, we can now hope in the present time, knowing that our future time will be brought. I wish somebody wrong. You, 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 you still like sin, sin. You still ain't wrong with me. Listen, listen. Since Jesus died on Calvary, on, God. since Jesus rose from the dead with all power, since he took the sting out of death and snatched the victory from the grave, since he now sits at the right hand of God, since he advocates on our behalf, since he sent back to us the comforter, since we know uh, his blood washes us for all of our sins, since we know all this, he says uh, we can have confidence to enter into his presence. Yeah. Since we know he's not going to leave us, we come and worship. 